that in fact so most of the students have been attracted and they have been proposed why don't go for one research organization research hub so because of already it is existed in a kel university women research forum but the due to the students the interest of the students and the motivation of the student we were thinking about to start the a student research forum but after that we have been started but it was not registered at the time of that 2009 10 11 like that it it has been continued so most of the students is still they are working under that uh, ifm rc and which will be providing at international level standard research advising and how to write the research paper or how to write the master degree the tcc project or undergraduate thesis project and whatever it may be which are related with the concerned student development based on the research as well as an academic exposures on that concerned field and which will be helpful for the student promotion in future so because of in that way all the teachers and faculties have been motivated me so because i was only the person from tamil nadu at the time work as a professor and uh, having some of the exposures which are related with any research so i have been motivated many of the people we have been given the guidance for how to publish and many student teachers have been published the different uh, the papers in different uh, journals so in that way international faculty and student multi research consortium have been started but we have been planned only for the student but after that the some of the department teachers faculties professors have been motivated why don't start why don't uh, join to with the faculty also if you go for student it is again like teaching method or teaching to the student as a teacher so it may be having somewhat uh, one side maybe only for the student so if you go for general research consortium that may be good for us otherwise you can mingle the faculty also teachers also at the time we have been decided to take this title international first we have been started faculty and student multi research consortium but after that we got one a professor who have from uh, malaysia has given one international like this colloquium has been advised i met personally with, along with the student we got some advice and we have been designed at the international level he is also one of the advisory committee and from tamil nadu and uh, tamil nadu kerala the more or less the south india we have been covered and i have given opportunity for all the teachers to student to such group meet and they sharing their international research knowledge each other as a student as a faculty as a coordinators even north india from maligar muslim universities and the foreign universities we have given the some of uh, the, the priority to work to the people and still they are continuing and they are working them in that way we have been connected we have been associated with our reputed international focusing college which is giving the quality and focusing in different departments not only in commerce and management in different departments and our vivekananda a college for the women especially so because of, we are very proud of to say yeah, ifmr ifmrs is connecting with or associate with vivekananda college of arts and science for the women tiruchur code really so i would like to take our college and reputation at the international level even i have been talked with the different uh, uh, ethiopian teachers those who are working with me i have shown i have been sent the invitations and i have been talking about our college and which is giving the uh, the wonderful under the name of the, the college under the vivekananda the different uh, thoughts we, which is given by vivekananda we have been shared some of the times when you are free in the department and universities or wherever go locally so why because i am talking about that so why we are going to talking about that uh, rebooting the so uh, take for example if we go for education nowadays we could see the different announcement from the government without the examinations 
without standard without any corrections without any evaluations the all the students near about up to the 12th standard they are going to promote okay it is very happy but how we can accept their continuously two years more or less the students are two years means two terms that is one year the students are going to promote so where and how we can find out and focus the quality education and which will be focusing our nation in that way really i am appreciating dr sasikumar and college of vivekananda who is selected this wonderful title and which will be related to the post covid 19 especially the business operation business means the everything all the activities not only business we not only the marketing not only the hrm not only the economics the business is a common term which are related with all the department all the focusing area so how it is going down and how it will be improving step by step so before starting the one or two word about the uh, um, covid 19 i would like to talk about the ethiopian experience four or five minutes because it is needed for the students as well as those who are connecting at international level ethiopia i came here 2011 12 as a professor i have been selected when i was working in loyola college chennai nungabakam i got the good opportunity to serve such kind of the wonderful uh, country 2011 12 i got an opportunity and i came here now the ninth year is running ninth year is going on i have been selected i have been uh, uh, felicitated in the different uh, research forum here in ethiopia so why because when you are going to hard work they will be facilitate and recognize and they will give the different positions so which is the highest top level position as we know that i got the senate member in our samara university so why because i am saying that in ethiopia they are very clever than us even why because the ethiopian culture and food more or less equal to us there is no that much difficulties there is no that much problem culture wise and uh, food and all the things we are already we are interconnected in the different ways mahatma gandhi have been visited many time in ethiopia dr manmohan singh have been visited many time in ethiopia when i was in uh, 2011 12 manmohan singh dr manmohan singh came and uh, contributed funded for the railway track also here in ethiopia so india and ethiopia having the good relationship and uh, having the the different mo with the different colleges universities etc etc and most of the students from ethiopia many people are studying in india the different universities even starting from undergraduates in all the streams master degrees phds so most of the uh, uh, students near about uh, uh, 20 23 students from our uh, samara universities they are studying phd master degree and undergraduate in india especially south india so why because i'm saying that they are respecting much they are giving more priority to the educations like india nowadays in ethiopia so culture wise they are there is no that much difference and the education system also more or less they are following the same system what we are following the uh, structure hierarchical professors associate professor and professor lecturers the same methods are here and they are collecting each and every day uh, updating the information from india especially which are related with an academic so because of, we directly we are agreed and we could take agreement with the ministry of higher education of ethiopia not direct with the individual or any agencies so when we came here so differently most of the students are eagerly expecting something from indian teachers indian indian teachers indian product indian clothes indian food indian culture they are 100% they are accepting here in ethiopia not only here in ethiopia throughout the world especially the east africa and south africa so i could see some of the people in african countries some of some i could see through the youtube 
some of the people are talking in the exact Tamil world in some countries. If you see in YouTube, you could see all the things and how we are exporting and how we are extending our language, our culture, our educational system, our thought, and which will be useful for the future people or future world development, especially in education. So because of really I am appreciating these people, because this is my ninth year experience. I'm not talking about, I'm not appreciating, I'm not giving the feedback within one month, one year, one, two years. It's the ninth year's experience. I am involved in all the field which are related to with an academic as well as the research. So why? Because I, I can I can motivate the student as well as the teachers how we may go for the further development, further more, further research writing, many things we are discussing. And personally, also I am conducting the classes for the student. Out of from my own interest, or out of from the universities, out of from the department. We are working very proudly here, or not only me, near about in my university, 23 uh, expatriates. That means our Indian teachers in the different stream are working here. I am only the person from South India in my college working as a professor. Here we are working only four professors, including me. I am from business and economics. It's a college of business and economics. I am a professor and uh, veterinary science, one professor and plant science one professor and uh, other medical science one professor totally three professors in the whole university four professors in the whole university we are working in different streams that is from the indian expatriate so we are sharing our knowledge our research and committee we have been formed uh, at the university level the research committee members we have been given a lot of things which will be helpful for promoting the universities and uh, as well as the society and communities and everything. We are serving even the communities and we are individual, we are focusing them. And really the people are very good. The humanity are more than us, more than me, but economically they are poor, but humanly, mentally, they are very strong because of after 10th standard or 8th standard, even girl or boy, they are not depending our family like it. They are going to work, they are studying, and they are working part time. Most of my students, they are developing their life. The parents, somewhat they are helping, 100% not, not like in India. They are, because of they are getting experience from 10th grade, 12th grade, 12th standard, undergraduate, master degree. One student, one undergraduate student knowledge maturity knowledge is somewhat different maturity approaching that the humanity is equal to professors equal to me i can say very proudly of that because of that much approaches we can see our student here in Ethiopia. when i was handling the classes and i was taking the class in the different universities i have been working in different colleges as a principal i got a good experience that has been very useful for to apply for the student to promote in the right way on the right track and which will be focusing in the consent field. Even the, our uh, Dr. Karnagaran, who is working along with me in another university, Hawassa University, just uh, near about the uh, from uh, from the Hawassa University to my university, near about the hundred uh, hundred thousand kilometers near about 1,000 kilometers, 900, more than 900 kilometers. He is working near about, he started his career in Ethiopia 2003. Now still he is working as a professor and I have been recommended to him who is having the rich experience more than me in Ethiopia, one of the resource persons. So really I am very thankful to Dr. Karnagaran sir also and how we may go for that. So because I have to talk about something orally and generally because of that, the subject will be uh, given by the other uh, resource person. I don't take uh, the time for the subject related there on the title. So because um, so we have to work continuously together, jointly associated with the Vivekananda College and we will go for the MU also the Vivekananda College and uh, how we can focus this uh, uh, forum and the Vivekananda universities and uh, at the international level. If possibilities, 
we can send to the vivekananda uh, some foreign students to the vivekananda college through the mou there may be a lot of opportunity possibilities are there many colleges many universities take for example uh, um, uh, madras university um, uh, i uh, anna universities um, uh, tamil nadu teacher education universities and uh, naharjuna universities um, andhra uh, andhra universities uh, aligarh muslim universities foreign universities many universities are checking the uh, mou for the developing at international uh, education and international level um, tie up for the teacher development of the concerned institution as well as the educational background so because of this title is very useful for the right now and uh, how we can go for further development the rebooting monarch uh, sorry the local language the repeat means which will be regenerating reconnecting refocusing reactivate how we can continue our business whether it is affecting or not our business how our business is going to develop so as a commerce student as a commerce teachers how we can continue our business without any problem or without any hurdles and how we can focus take for example nowadays you can see that due to the corona virus again india is going to lockdown it's a different countries already locked down for one week two weeks three weeks germany italy here in here also in some of the place here in my state this is a upper regional state like tamil nadu here there is no suspected there is no virus still no one dead but some of the other state maybe some of the suspected is there but still here in samara that means this is headquarter samara the name of the samara the university is samara university the name is samara samara means it's a headquarters like in chennai for tamil nadu it is uh, uh, chennai same like that for ethiopia headquarters is the uh, adi sababa for this is a regional state of a regional state samara so samara samara university in the name of the place so why because i'm talking about that here there is no issue still there is no but everybody the precautions are there they are because i told you that they are more than clever than us they are protecting them, themselves they are having more awareness they are following the rules and regulations that is the most important wherever go their people are following the rules and regulations so there is no still there is no death in this regional state that means the state as per mind no one affected here so even though we have been started the classes offline physically we are started within 3 months 45 days 45 days one semester because of due to the international pandemic everybody are fearing about that so because of first 8 months 7 months there were no classes so after that pandemic release is somewhat we have been started regularly physically offline classes we are conducting and coming zoom they are going to graduate the convocation also so why because 45 days 45 days they are giving for one semester two semester within three months we are going to complete and they are going to graduate and they are leaving from the campus the new student will come so why because i'm talking about that the business will be started very slowly slowly according to the climate according to the conditions according to the environment take for example our vivekananda college is going to resume the student according to the conditions nowadays as per our government norms all the colleges all the schools are going to close again so how we can reboot the business is very difficult to reboot and we can't able to survive our life not only the normal citizens even the businessmen they are struggling in different ways so we can't be able to rebuild so how we can go for the again how we can start up our business again and how it will be continuing smoothly in different ways we have to do the research and we have to take care of our business as well as our life more than our the business more than our life so we have to take care of the health conditions and we have to follow the government norms and we have to follow the self declaration we have to declare we have to think about us our family our child our children 
our brother, our sisters, as we know that most of the people are following, but unexpected, it will happen some other places. Yesterday, I think, um, yesterday, yesterday and day before yesterday, more than 800 at Chennai. People are talking in the different ways. And our prime minister are discussing with the concern official whether we are going to go for the lockdown or not. And some of the people are talking the different way. So because of the five state elections are going on, so because of their planning to shut down, when we are going to shut down that and the election will be closed. So we can't be able to, again, we can't be able to conduct the elections and it will be taken again. The, so many problems are in different ways. So because of a lot of issues is there and also the most of the student, we can say 100% students are affected. But it is also one of the experience, those who are taking the classes through the online, it is also one of the experience, but it will not affect, it will not affect, and it will not be that much for the student knowledge. So because of how it will be, so after the corona, how, when, the corona is continuing, again, the third term, it is coming, okay, how we can go for that, how we can reconnect. I can restart, how we can reboot, how we can refresh, how we can release from that tension. So how, so because of that, we have to take care of the self, self declarations. No one from, from the Vivekananda institutions, management, principal, deans, head of the department, teachers, faculties are advising to the student. That is a duty, responsibility of the concern, uh, responsibilities, concern people, concern person, concern college chairman. But uh, we have to follow as a student. Why? Because I'm talking about student. This is most of, in this con conference, most of the people are connected as a student from the different colleges or we on the colleges. And we have to take up the responsibility individual, individual, not group decision. Individual decision is most important for rebooting your life, your academic activities, your individual day-to-day -day life activities, how you have to manage, especially as a commerce student, as a management student, as an economic student, as a person, as a matured student, how we can follow. Most of the places, students are collapsing the different issues. Why? Because there is a time to do that. Okay, we are accepted. But in this pandemic period, as a student, we are meeting the different people, different teachers, different friends, different places, and we have to take care of our life. We have to wear responsible. We have to wear gloves. Mask, if possible, if it is needed. And we may go for further. So because of it is a rebooting, the different people are going to talk about the subject. This is just the inaugural sessions. And we, I, I would like to wish to success of this inaugural there is a conference, which is conducting at an, an international level. And really, I'm very thankful to the different management and uh, Vivekananda College chairman, secretary, principal, dean, head of the department, staff members, organizing committee members, organizer, Dr. Sasi Kumar, and the IFMRC advising committee member, Dr. Paranisamy, head of the department of chemistry, Pudukote, Rajas College, and Dr. the Paramasivam as a principal uh, scientist, and other, Dr. Ravi Kumar, who is, working along with me in my university was to give uh, the valedictory address and really i'm very happy and very thankful to all the people those who are connecting more than 300 people in this colloquium it will be success and i will wish them to all to success the conference thank you very much for a <laughs> wonderful opportunity to talk with the people and connect at international level really i'm very very happy to share my knowledge and share my background and sharing with you some of the informations which are related with this uh, Ethiopia, Ethiopian culture and Samara University. 
thank you very much for you, your patience. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Anbalan, sir, for your uh, inspirational speech. <coughs> and uh, now let me invite uh, Dr. P. Kamaraj, Dean of Commerce, to share a few words about our Executive Director, sir, Professor Dr. Kupinami, sir. We welcome you, sir. Sir, uh, ED, sir. Uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning, hey, how you, uh, sir. Sir, good morning, sir. Uh, sir, good morning, sir. Uh, sir, Anbalan, sir, I am uh, extremely happy to introduce uh, uh, our uh, uh, executive director of Vivekananda Educational Institutions, uh, Dr. Professor uh, S. Kukusami, sir. He is uh, a former uh, pro vice chancellor of uh, Pondicherry University, University, sir, and also he led a uh, famous and renowned institution here, Kongo Engineering College, for quite a long period of time. And, uh, 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 sir, uh, I would like to introduce him as an uh, he is, he is known as an organic man in our region, sir, because he respects the human values, uh, right? And uh, and also, he is a person who built a culture in a technical institution like uh, Kongu, sir. Uh, he is known for uh, such a glory. Uh, so, we are all blessed to have him as our uh, uh, executive director here. Uh, sir, Kupsami, sir, I am also happy to introduce Anbalagan, sir. Uh, he is, uh, he is running an organization for publishing, as uh, we, all are, we all are aware that uh, uh, in education, particularly in higher education, publish or perish is what uh, the slogan. So this man, uh, Dr. Anbalahan, is running three international journals. Uh, so he is uh, publishing the research contributions of academicians also. Uh, that, is, uh, that motivated us to associate with him. Uh, for uh, establishing such a relationship uh, with uh, uh, IFSMRC. Uh, now it's, uh, uh, it's over to you, sir. Uh, you please uh, uh, bless us with a few words and also I request you to release the proceedings of uh, uh, this colloquium. Please, sir. It's over to you, sir. Please, Welcome, sir. sir. Okay. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Kamaraj, for the introduction of uh, both of us. To get to know. Uh, at the outset, uh, I say it's uh, really a noon we have started. Uh, let me wish every one of you a very good afternoon. I'm really happy to associate myself with this uh, uh, meeting or uh, the virtual colloquium that has been organized on a topic rebooting strategies for post COVID 19 business operations, of course, in association with international faculty and uh, Students Multi Research Consortium, IFSMRC, uh, that is to be conducted uh, for the next two days. Uh, I'm really feeling happy about uh, my participation uh, in this, even though it is not my cake, but still it is a cake for everybody, for everyone. Uh, looking at, uh, as I think uh, Professor Anbalagan was uh, mentioning, uh, looking at the present scenario, how the COVID is uh, spreading in India and uh, the way in which everybody is uh, looking at how and uh, what it will happen to their lives is a big issue. But I think uh, basically we in India, we people have had a developed a uh, system by which we will be able to struggle and then uh, withstand of any difficulty that comes in, unlike uh, the Western uh, community, where something happens and then everybody gets, uh, I mean, demoralized and then uh, they get, uh, what I say, uh, they get it uh, swallowed into the whole uh, stream. But whereas uh, in uh, India, the Indians are uh, really having, uh, I mean, what I say, a tough mind or a strong mind rather, uh, which will help them to come out of any situation, whatever it may be. I'm sure definitely this uh, second wave of COVID may not affect to a larger extent our operations, except few things. Definitely the impact is going to be there, but I'm sure we will come out of this without much of uh, difficulties. So I'm really happy that on this topic, uh, the uh, PG and Research Department of Commerce of Vivekananda College of Arts and Science for Women has organized uh, this meeting. I would like to really appreciate the organizers for the effort. And also I would like to wish all the best the participants who are uh, uh, taking keen interest in knowing 
what is happening and what it can happen and what are all the avenues that you can explore under the, this uh, condition um, and also i mean i would like to extend a very warm welcome to professor anbalagan and uh, other uh, speakers on behalf of the management and also on my own behalf because they all agreed to come and share their knowledge and experience with all of us okay so let me once again wish you all the best and uh, Thank you, thanks for uh, my hearing uh, because i know if i speak longer this uh, time at 12 o'clock people may not be so comfortable yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> So thank let me you, wish you all the best and uh, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank so, you very much, Ariel. Okay. Very nice to meet you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for your motivational speech, sir. Now, uh, let us invite our uh, executive director, sir, to release the proceedings of the colloquium. Yeah. We welcome our uh, director, sir, executive director, sir, to release the conference colloquium, sir. Please, sir. I think we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I, I think it is on the screen. Ah, yes, sir. Visible, sir. Okay, so we release and uh, who is receiving? Uh, sir, now I request uh, Professor Anbalagan, sir, to receive the copy of uh, okay. the proceedings. Okay. We welcome you, sir. Okay, sir. Right, very nice. Okay, sir. But my voice is yeah, we hear your voice. That's it's audible. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Okay, thank you. And uh, once again, wish you all uh, the best. Yeah, my voice is my voice is my voice is Okay. Uh, one, oh, pull down. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is a chairman's message. Uh, yes, sir. I think the message of uh, the entire uh, management. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good, sir. Old photo. Suresh Kumar, you know old photo. Okay. This is very nice. Hello. 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 Okay, sorry, right now. I'll put on a put on a put Okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, releasing the <coughs> proceedings of the colloquium, sir. We thank our uh, sincere gratitude, sir.
Okay, and uh, now uh, it's our privilege to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. B.T. Suresh Kumar, sir, to release the volume one of the International Journal of Social Sciences. We welcome you, sir. My very, very honor. Sir, sir, you. Let's stop, sir. Ah, stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, sir uh, we welcome our uh, principal, sir, to release the volume one of BA International Journal, sir. We welcome you, sir, to release the uh, journal copy, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, so we request your uh, blessing, sir, from principal, sir. Uh, we request you to share a few words and at least uh, general copy, sir. Sir, screen. Screen. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so now, our principal, sir, our principal, sir, has released the uh, volume one of uh, VA Interest Journal. Thank you, sir. And uh, we request uh, we have a blessing from your side, sir. Thank you. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Sir, half an hour, sir. Okay. So, thank you, sir. And uh, now we request our uh, director, sir, Dr. E. Kumaravel, mm -hmm. sir, director of academics, arts and science colleges, and education institutions, to release the second volume of VA International Journal and uh, to share a few words of blessing with us. We welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for releasing the second volume of B Interest in Journal of Social Science, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, we request our uh, director, sir, to give the felicitation address. And uh, the copy of uh, the colloquium proceedings and uh, uh, the journal copy will be shortly published in the website because commerce.web.com by afternoon of today. And we welcome no, our uh, director, sir, to share a few words with us. Welcome you, sir. Hello. 
Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Dear Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon. And uh, sir, my voice is audible. Uh, yes, sir. Audible. Audible, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. So, in first time, uh, we are organizing this international virtual uh, colloquium. Yes, sir. Uh, with international faculty and the students, a multi research consortium. So, thanks for uh, organizing this uh, nice event, sir. So, as the Department of Commerce, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, first time we are organizing this uh, colloquium. So, previously we have organized a nine international conference. So, this is the first virtual colloquium organized by our Department of Commerce. So, always the Department of Commerce is organizing a lot of uh, conference and uh, seminars, symposiums uh, like this. So, every time <coughs> our Department of Commerce is organizing with various partners, various universities in uh, India as well as uh, outside the country. So, in same way, our virtual colloquium also organized with you. So, you have given very good presentation. Your profile is a really amazing one. <laughs> uh, so far, we have not seen the person like you. I think you have three doctorates and uh, many more research uh, uh, guidance and uh, you have very good publication. You have a very good network with so many universities. So, so, under your guidance, so many scholars, they have completed their MPhil as well as PhD. So, really, we have lucky to have a resource person like you. So, in future also, we should have many more activities in association with you, especially with your research consortium. So, that will be helpful to our scholars and faculty members to share your, to share their research outputs and other things. See, previously, I have... What is the difference between colloquium and the seminars? Then I have seen, I have very clear now. Colloquium is uh, sharing research output in particular uh, area. See, our area today, rebooting strategies for post-COVID business operation. See, it is very good topic today because uh, uh, we can uh, say the business operation before COVID and after COVID. So after COVID, a lot of things have been taken in the industry. See, many businesses, they have loosened their business and many people, lakhs and lakhs of people, they have loosened their jobs. But at the same time, new jobs also, new uh, sector that is called uh, hospitality uh, and many more uh, form of healthcare, it has very good uh, growth in the post-operation period also. So this is the right time to discuss how the business will be in near future. Moreover, now we have second wave of COVID. So... Uh, the COVID problem and the pandemic situation, it is affected much in Indian economy, especially in small scale SME and as well as a large public sector organization also. So this is the right time to discuss how the business will be in future. So this type of uh, colloquium that is really helpful to our students and the scholars and the faculty members to share their views and the research output in the particular field of industry. So I thank our ambulance, sir, and moreover, uh, now we have second wave of COVID. So uh, the COVID problem and the pandemic situation it is affected much in Indian economy, especially in small scale SME and as well as the large public sector organization also. So this is the right time to discuss how the business will be in the future. So this type of uh, colloquium that is really helpful to our students and the scholars and faculty members. To share and the research output in the particular field of interest. So I thank our employer, sir, and our Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity given to me. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your... Uh...
so thank you sir thank you for your motivational speech and uh, now uh, now let me invite uh, dr p kamraj dean of commerce we are in the college of arts and sciences for women to give the vote of thanks we welcome you sir Sir, Kumaran sir, thank you sir. Uh, I take this opportunity uh, to thank, uh, first of all, I thank our beloved uh, chairman, Professor Dr. M. Karunanidhi for his uh, uh, kind concern uh, in uh, establishing such a relationship with the uh, uh, foreign organization. And uh, uh, I thank uh, for the guidance and advice from our executive director and our principal, our academic director and uh, the trust members of our college i take this opportunity to thank everyone and also i take this opportunity to thank uh, dr anbalagan sir anbalagan the founder chairman of uh, ifsmrc for his uh, uh, kind uh, concern to, uh, to associate with vivekananda college of arts and sciences for women uh, anbalagan sir uh, we are expecting more number of publications in the forthcoming period because uh, our department is a post graduate and research department in commerce and management and also we have another two arts and science colleges too uh, so like we will uh, work together and uh, we will publish all our uh, research initiatives uh, and i uh, i thank all the faculty members team uh, dr sachi kumar and uh, the faculty team of uh, dr priya and uh, faculty team of uh, department of commerce and management for their active involvement in organizing this program and i also congratulate the students of our commerce department for their patient uh, listening and their participation in this program and now the technical sessions are going to uh, start and i thank everyone for their uh, active participation uh, now it's over to uh, the convener of the program uh, let me will begin the technical sessions please thank you sir thank you. and uh, now it's uh, time for starting up the technical session and uh, before that i would like to express my sincere gratitude to each and everyone uh, who made uh, the inaugural sessions, uh, session a grand success and now let me invite dr meenachi ma'am assistant professor of commerce vikas to give a brief introduction about our resource person antul tawab ma'am so our resource person is a principal and head from kwaid mille college chennai we welcome meenachi ma'am to give a brief introduction about our resource person welcome you ma'am huh? uh good morning sir good morning to all the staff members all the principals and director sir good morning sir it's my pleasure honor to read the introduction about dr m abdul tawab dr m abdul tawab is presently the principal and head of pg research department of commerce the kohide millet college for men madam welcome chennai she started her career as lecturer in commerce in jbas college for women from 18 97 to 30th november 2000 with 24 years of teaching experience she has many associates to her credit she has organized ugc sponsored national conference one day seminar sponsored by ministry of corporate affairs one day seminar in association with icsi international conference national level symposium one day state level workshop in collaboration with the tamil nadu state council on science and technology two days national level conference in collaboration with tamil nadu state council for science and technology national level fdb national level webinar international level webinar student enrichment program student orientation program eqs she published around 16 papers in conference proceedings ugc ugc calis journals and scopus and industry journal she has attended around 93 workshop seminar fdp symposium webinar online courses she has edited one ugc care group one journal and one isb she elected twice to academic council of university of madras unanimously as a member in the year of 2015 and 2019 She secured a term in business mathematics and statistics in her BCom examination, and as a faculty, she secured second prize for her paper presentation in state level seminar on nurturing economics through CSR held on 24 2012, organized by Sri Kanda Swami College for Women, Anna Nagar, Chennai. She served a program officer for from 9 8 2007 to 21 6 2011, organized blood donation camp, TB awareness camp, eye checkup camp, AIDS. Avenas camp and received award of operation from University of Madras. NSS for dedicated efforts towards the humanitarian service rendered during the mega project 
she has organized to good short play oratorical competition on national waters day organized rally on national waters day she participated in tandi tv show makkal munnal as special guest to discuss the life oriented issues during 2014 she participated in patti mandram and vivada made organized by world women welfare association and received prize for the best vivadam she attended the commerce association meeting in new prince ji bhavani arts and science college chennai as a chief guest on 4 3 she also attended the women's day celebration organized by fsm chief guest on 6th january 2020 and gave a talk on women empowerment i am very much proud to read your valuable profile ma'am we have learned a lot of valuable achievement done from your profile so it is the role model for us to develop our career thank you very much ma'am thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much ma'am for uh, giving the introduction about this person thank you sir thank you it's thank you very much this person dr antul tawab principal and head pg research department of commerce quite village college from uh, men chennai so share a few words of your experience and valuable thoughts with us we welcome you ma'am thank you thank you very much for the introduction all glory be to god it gives me immense pleasure to be part of international colloquium on rebooting strategies for post covid 19 business operation organized by pg and research department of commerce vivekananda college of arts and science for women in association with international faculty and students multi research consortium most respected chief patron vidya ratna professor Dr. M. Karunanidhi, Trimadi Krishna Veni Karunanidhi, Professor Dr. Anbaragan Chinnaya, Respected Patron, Convener, Co-Convener, Organizing Committee Members, Dr. B. T. Suresh Kumar, Principal, and other Advisory Committee Members, Resource Person, and my dear participants. Good afternoon to one and all present here. I congratulate the organizing team for selecting the wonderful topic, which is need of the hour. and the topic for today's my resource for the technical session is digital transformation in financial service so covid 19 pandemic not only affected our day to day life and financial state of persons all sectors are affected and financial services is no exemption when we welcome in general when we welcome our guest in the function we sprinkle rose water at the entrance and now we spray sanitizer check it the voice man ചൈനോ the thing is restricted only to china it will not affect us but actually the thing has changed and uh, so whatever we assume that was not the case and it extend the thing the impact extended to the entire world so this is how things are going so and the digital transformation help us to just overcome the problem whatever we have faced during covid 
digital transformation is nothing but it's a process of using digital technology to create new or modify the existing business process so with the help of technology we are trying to just overcome the problem whatever we have faced and especially in financial services uh, that witness a rapid expansion of diversified financial sector both in terms of strong growth of existing financial service firms and the entry of new company into the industry financial services in india made up of commercial banks insurance companies non banking financial corporation cooperatives pension funds etc so digital transformation in these area helping us to provide better services with low cost so for it is having the digital transformation is having a positive impact on the business operation and that is helping us to provide faster services cost effective operations and helping us to meet the regulatory deadlines so employ improved employee and customer experience and remaining competitive to withstand in the market adopting the technology is very very essential economic turmoil associated with the covid-19 pandemic had an impact on financial services too a micro virus has eroded wealth and corroded investors confidence and slowed down private consumption and investment hello am na to yes bola am i not audible yes sorry ma'am i'm sorry ma'am okay 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 so a micro virus has eroded wealth and corroded investor confidence slow down private consumption and investment disturbed the workplace distorted the market history will remember this pandemic name covid 19 as another world war where the whole world was fighting against the covid 19 an in invisible enemy this invisible enemy has remained unbiased to every country thanks to the technology helping us to carry out the financial transactions even during lockdown every cloud has silver lining so this lockdown help people to adopt technology as it was necessary digital transformation was a solution for the contactless and paperless transactions financial service provided adopted digital transformation even before covid pandemic so this uh, digital transformation is not just after uh, this covid 19 even we can witness in the year 2018 itself we have witnessed an evolution of digital transformation trends in the financial services that have them to withstand in the market and in the in case of digital transformation in the financial industry and the uh, the recent uh, report by global economic prospects the global economy will contract by 5% in 2020 due to covid-19 pandemic but however the crisis has accelerated economic transformation leading to an increase in the adoption of digital financial services the digital transformation helped us to overcome the challenge and has become indispensable for both short term as well as long term sustainable recovery efforts so in case of uh, financial sector banking contribute more around 64% of the total assets held by the financial system by the banking companies and if you see the reason for this tran transformation technical transformation was first one because of this uh, lockdown that compelled them to just go for usually the senior citizens and uh, the middle age people they were not comfortable with the technology and they don't want to go for uh, online transactions uh, um, they are not uh, happy comfortable with the uh, mobile apps and all these things but this lockdown and social distancing forced people to stay indoors or go outdoor only for the essential items and this forced the rapid adoption of digital technology across the globe the lot reports that united states which has traditionally lagged in digital adoption is experiencing an all time high in the number of check deposits and mobile login 
so the research says after lockdown the technology actually online transactions uh, are uh, increased in numbers and we can find a major contribution even the senior citizens and middle age people they are adopting this technology and they are carrying out the financial transactions and uh, the second reason is the lockdown has witnessed the race among the retailer to set up e-commerce capabilities to capture sales so complete shift we found the to e-business e-commerce and this accelerated the growth speed towards digital and contact payment so mastercard reported over 40% growth in contactless payment across the globe visa reported a staggering 150% increase in the us alone so if you see the uh, percentage uh, after the covid 19 the adoption of uh, technology and the usage of online transactions that has increased a lot hygienic payment modes such as because this felt with the online transactions helped us to keep away from the people and keep away from the papers through which actually the corona virus was actually spreading okay so scanning qr codes click tap to pay etc have taken off well to encourage contactless payment during the pandemic and then uh, the covid 19 pandemic that has actually uh, made us to do the work from home so previously the financial service providers they were not having that thing in their mind and now they have adopted the requirement and they have just adopted a work from home and uh, we can see wells fargo and bank of america has pushed almost 70% of the employee to work from home and have established contingency locations for those employees so this is how things are actually changed because of this covid 19 pandemic and same way the if you see the evolution of economics uh, uh, the covid 19 pandemic uh, that had a pressure even on the financial services already i told you so it's a covid 19 virus is unbiased to all okay so it has affected all the sectors and financial service sector is not an exemption so insurers actually they are fighting a lot against the lowering the premium so because of the disposable income has reduced the income level of the people has reduced because of this pandemic and just to attract more uh, policies uh, they have to find out the ways to attract customers by lowering their premium and uh, during this covid pandemic uh, the climbs were more okay due to more debt uh, the climb amount was huge and they have to balance all these things and uh, they have no option uh, left to just to scan the environment and accordingly they have to formulate a appropriate strategy to survive in the market okay so if you just see the things have uh, already i told you the market has uh, changed because of this covid 19 pandemic and people started adopting the latest technology and they have just um, uh, um, very happy and comfortable with their uh, technology even the age people middle age people so everyone uh, and if you see the contribution Uh, just see the paypal uh, the comparing the paypal with the bank uh, dutch bank uh, the contribution is two times more than the dutch bank okay so the paypal is an uh, american company generating online payment system in the majority of the countries that support online money transfer and serve as an electronic alternative to a traditional paper methods and checks and money orders so see the contribution it is two times more than the dutch bank okay so people are very comfortable uh, with the mobile and they are, they are just using mobile app for transferring the book for transferring the funds for checking their balance even they have the e passbook in their mobile so no no to no need to visit the bank to check their balance to see the transactions to plan their 
uh, budget, all these things. So the mobile, what they have, that is helping them to plan things. And regarding the IT infrastructure saving, the cloud banking services that is helping the company to save their cost. So previously, the amount what they spend for the IT infrastructure that has reduced to, to 80 percentage because of this cloud banking services. And the, the application programming interface, which is a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. Their application is an ideal way to ensure growth and make life easier for the customer. So the API is helping the customers to do the transaction without any difficulty. So whenever they are using their cards or using the money, what they have in the bank for um, just uh, purchasing it. So immediately, this is helping them to update the amount what they have actually used for purchase and the balance automatically gets reduces and that is updating the balance and you are in a position to know the actual available balance. So this uh, type of software is helping the bank and the customers to be updated and to know things uh, with their just a click of a button okay so this is how things are going the technology is helping the customers to get the details from the bank without visiting the bank just the mobile app or the system uh, click of the button that is helping them so easily they are in a position to transfer their balance Okay, so this is how the, the new technology in the banking services helping them to provide better services to the customers, providing better and speedy services to the customer is very, very essential. That is the reason why the financial services industry, they have adopted this technology before the impact of COVID-19. So all the other companies, they have adopted the technology just to just face the challenges, what they had um, regarding the COVID-19 pandemic to suggest to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. But this is not the case. The reason is the service industry, their uh, survival is based on how they are providing the services. Only if they provide better services, effective services at low cost, that will help them to withstand in the market. Okay, so the service providers, they have to always concentrate on knowing what is required by the customers, what is the need of the market economy, and what are the various technologies available, feasible to implement in their industry and how to just uh, carry out the transactions uh, uh, more profitable. This is how they have to think and they have to find out the appropriate strategy to withstand in the market. Previously, uh, the customer acquisition cost was very heavy in the traditional bank. But now this has reduced the financial tech companies adopting the financial technology easily they are able to provide better services at low cost so thanks to the technology which is helping us to reduce the cost of acquiring the customers customer acquisition means just expanding your business operation so this is how uh, the um, financial services financial uh, sectors they are concentrating and they are just trying to uh, withstand in the market with the help of latest uh, technology like automated wealth managers. FinTech means it's a modern technology adopted by banks and financial companies to deliver financial services efficiently. It has improved drastically since ATM and credit cards days to the latest digital banks and blockchain technology. FinTech along with the automated technology and machine learning algorithm are revolutionizing the world of finance. Digital technology such as customers service chat boot, expenditure tracking, online budgeting tools are some of the example 
of how far the financial services have come today. A drastic change you can find the way they provide the services to the customers. So with the help of, uh, because the mobile, everyone is having a smartphone with them. So that itself using the facilities available with the customers, they are providing the financial services to their doorstep. So mobile banking, the digital banking environment allow customers to transfer funds, deposit checks and apply for loans easily from their mobile devices. Today, customers prefer to do online banking at their convenience instead of visiting the brick and mortar banks. So blockchain, blockchain is a system of regarding information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack or cheat the system because the privacy that is very, very important, essential. Okay, so when they are providing uh, uh, better services, the organization, financial service provider, they have to even focus on the privacy of their customer, security of the customers. So when that innovation, when they are just adopting new innovation, the spread of new innovation is faster than you think, the longer than you think, because the spread is very high because it's a need of the hour and no option left just to avoid the contact light transaction without the technology. So India is expecting to be the fourth largest private wealth market globally by 2028. So in the future, okay, the, since uh, the financial service sectors, they have adopted the technology and they are trying to just formulate uh, suitable strategies for the survival that is helping them to march forward okay, in the future with growth. So in all the sectors, definitely we will have a positive growth. So because always changes are essential. And um, I would like to just uh, uh, tell you, uh, remind you the words of Swami Vivekananda. Experience is the only teacher we have. We may talk and reason all over lives, but shall not understand a word of truth until we experience it ourselves. So the experience, what we have gained because of this COVID-19, that is helping us to just design an appropriate strategy and to move forward. So the experience and the adaptation, because change is essential, nothing is permanent except the word change. So adopting the technology, and just uh, having an open mind, broad mind, we are we can just have a wonderful future by 2028. India is expected to be the fourth largest global private wealth sector, wealth sector on the back of strong banking and insurance industry. India is today one of the most dynamic global economics and leading player in delivering financial services in India and abroad okay so the we are by using this uh, artificial intelligence we are in a position to provide better services to their customers okay, the benefits of artificial intelligence are it supports firms in keeping in line with regularity and compliance changes also from customers perspective uh, artificial intelligence can reveal interesting observations and trends in customer behavior. And based on that, uh, the organization, they can come out with a suitable strategy to retain the customers and to attract new customers. Okay. So the blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, all these things are the recent trends of development in the field of financial services and that is helping us to uh, move forward the artificial intelligence blockchain all these things helping us to minimize the risk uh, human errors and to just uh, um, withstand in the market so this adoption digital banking is not only restricted to online account. They are digital banks which operate online only with very few or no buildings or branches. 
mobility has opened a whole new world with smartphones and increasingly sophisticated apps uh, being introduced and this is helping us to just withstand in the market financial technology so technology adopted uh, is actually helping us to improve the uh, uh, delivery of the financial services pd services we are able to provide and uh, the world of finance as we know it is changing thanks to fintech through automated technology and machine learning algorithm this is evident in new technologies such as customer service automated chatbots online budgeting tools and spending tracking so even though the all innovations have uh, disruptive uh, environment in the industry but this innovation is helping them to the face the challenges and to reduce the cost of providing services and helping them to provide better services to the people but the thing is whenever we innovate and whenever we adopt new technology and uh, appropriate training has to be given to the employees to, to just upskill the employees only through employees uh, the financial campaign services are provided to the customers so they are the intermediate through which services are provided a proper training has to be given to the employee to just adopt the uh, technology in a proper manner to provide effective services so banking and finance sector is delivering a higher return on equity because the technol adoption of technology is helping them to reduce the cost helping them to do better services helping them to provide speedy services on a whole it is having a very good impact on the industry and this is helping them to build value through their entire business so the use of the inside drive and digital transactions is crucial maintaining competitive edge so challenges even though the the things the covid 19 uh, when it affected us we felt uh, that will have a big uh, negative impact on and us and we don't know how we will survive but the things have actually thanks to the technology we have overcome those challenges and still the covid 19 impact uh, has not actually come to an end we don't know exactly when it will get over whether the vaccine uh, uh, will help us to save us from the covid 19 so all these things are big question mark but with a positive approach we can overcome all those problems and uh, hope we'll have a better future many banking leaders are already some way down the digital transformation path using smart technologies robotic process automation machine learning for anti-money laundering know your customers uh, as well as rich tech to motivate compliance risk so these uh, digital footprints of the financial industry strides into new pastures and this is helping us to move forward but at the same time uh, we have a problem to the cyber crimes that is a big issue we have in case of this uh, online transactions and we are actually the government is working against all these things and uh, privacy is taken as a priority of the organizations so definitely uh, things uh, will be sorted out and we will be just able to do uh, things in a better manner in the near future and definitely we will have a very uh, big uh, positive development we will have in the future and uh, Thank you very much for patiently listening. I thank the entire management and the principal organizing committee members for organizing a wonderful uh, program. So the, I just uh, thank for giving me the opportunity to be the resource person and to share my views on this field. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, that's it. Uh,
on behalf of uh, commerce department uh, and the college of arts and science for women we extend our gratitude to our resource person kutum tawat ma'am for sharing her valuable thoughts and ideas on uh, banking uh, services and digital transformation thank you ma'am and uh, and uh, at the outset uh, and uh, next we are going to continue the session uh, resource person dr p tirumurthy associate professor of career university salem sir is going to address us Uh, the topic of uh, technology orientation to manage pandemic situations okay and the class now i would like to invite dr selvam assistant professor of commerce because to give a brief introduction about our resource person uh, dr pitul murthy from uh, pri university we welcome you sir yes sir mm, good afternoon to one and all present in this international colloquium life is a difficult game you can win it only by retaining your birthright to be a person by dr apj abdul kalam on behalf of department of commerce i am very happy to introduce today's chief guest dr p tirumurthy associate professor periyar institute of management studies periyar university salem 11 he has completed be in psc college of technology coimbatore master of business administration in barajar school of management barajar university coimbatore phd in periya university salem and ma human rights in annamalai university sir served in many institutions such as sales officer in velumani engineering industry coimbatore area sales officer in real value marketing services limited chennai area sales manager in usa international limited chennai and lecturer in kongu engineering college erode assistant professor in periyar university salem sir has vast administrative experience in the field of duty director periyar institute of distance education youth red cross public relation officer career and counseling placement cell convener and coordinator for tnpsc free coaching center he received two awards from appreciation of meritorious service towards academic excellence by kongu engineering college erode and best journal coordinator of youth red cross awarded by indian red cross society tamil nadu branch he achieved best paper award in national and international level conference sir has published three books titled managerial economics rural banking and database management system sir has published many papers in ugc scopus reputed journals and he received grants from tamil nadu state council for science and technology chennai indian institute of public administration new delhi university grant commission new delhi and the center for classical tamil chennai sir is a member in various associations such as all india management association indian society for technical education coimbatore management association and indian red cross society we feel very happy and proud to have such an eminent personality to this international colloquium i once again i welcome you sir now i hand over session to you sir Uh, thank you, uh, so thank you very much for your sir uh, shall yes, i start sir. yes sir yes sir please sir we uh, welcome our uh, resource person to start the session sir thank you uh, thank you very much uh, uh, dr selvam sir for your nice introduction uh, good afternoon and welcome to one and all present in this uh, virtual platform uh, on this virtual colloquium on rebooting strategies Uh, of post pandemic situation uh, it is a nice uh, 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 thing to have this kind of uh, uh, all type of educational institutions i really appreciate the organizers uh, to uh, arrange this kind of collegium which will share the experience on the uh, pandemic situation for the past one and a half year uh, when the 
corona started in china it started uh, in 2019 december and uh, spreaded over to entire uh, world in a fast manner okay so when we consider this kind of uh, situation and uh, we are the process of uh, recovering from the situation we can say it is a recovery but it is not a complete recovery because subsequent waves of uh, this variant uh, forms of corona okay so we are calling it as a variant corona corona variants okay so some people are calling it as a london corona now people are calling it as a us corona and even we find uh, uh, the corona variants in india in different cities in different formats so uh, whatever the vaccination we have as of now whether it is covid shield or covaxin it may provide a temporary relief and confidence among the people but uh, because of the corona variants uh, uh, spreading over the entire world we have we are in a uh, position to face a different wave waves uh, maybe second wave and even uh, in european countries it has uh, been uh, the third wave uh, france has Uh, announced a lockdown for uh, two months because of the third wave of uh, this uh, corona variants uh, anyhow we have to think about the uh, alternatives that is the uh, strategies for recovering our economy recovering our society recovering our uh, other areas of uh, operations okay so uh, i uh, once again appreciate the organizers the chairman of this uh, great group of institutions dr karuna nidhi the principal of this uh, institution dr suresh kumar head of uh, department of commerce dr priya ma'am the director of uh, uh, the things dr kumar sir dr kamaraj sir the dean and the organizing secretary dr sasi kumar uh, who has uh, thought about the uh, topic of this colloquium and uh, how organize a different resource persons a different uh, from different uh, nook and corners of the entire globe people are uh, uh, invited from different uh, sources and they are contributing in on different uh, topics regarding the rebooting strategies uh, friends actually this uh, corona has been seriously uh, noted by our study only in uh, february of uh, 2020 and we have uh, announced almost one year over the uh, lockdown of uh, uh, a complete lockdown of 68 days from uh, march 25th to uh, end of may and uh, again uh, we have uh, gone for different relaxations but because of this lockdown and the pandemic situation life in india includes urban and rural and they both got impacted by covid 19 previously recent in all the major metros and capital cities of indian states but later it also spreaded over to the rural parts of our country now we experience all types of people are affected previously people said the uh, corona virus will be more uh, uh, dangerous for the elderly people uh, people like uh, 60 years and old and the people who are having prolonged diseases like diabetes or uh, blood pressure or cancer kind of things but later uh, we have to admit that this corona virus is not limited to all age groups recently we experienced that the school children from tanju districts uh, district have uh, been affected by this corona virus so in this platform i request all the uh, participants and you are uh, uh, family members relatives please take care of the uh, 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 this uh, safeguarding measures like social distancing wearing mask and uh, uh, moving the crowded places uh, or avoiding to move crowded places and to safeguard even yesterday i experienced one of my friends who was uh, working in anamali university who was in the youth red cross um, she has been uh, affected by covid and she lost her life yesterday evening 
so uh, she is at the age of uh, 35 years only but uh, we have to accept this kind of uh, things no other pandemic which happened in the world uh, was uh, this kind of uh, seriousness this kind of uh, prolonged uh, uh, effect in the world we have to manage the situation but this effect is a continuous one on the end point of this pandemic other things were uh, were ended with the proper vaccination like chicken pox was completely uh, alleviated in the world by uh, the uh, vaccination to all children and we have no experience of chicken pox throughout the world same way the malaria cholera all these kind of uh, uh, epic uh, epic uh, nature of diseases had its pandemic uh, throughout the world for a shorter period by proper uh, invention of uh, vaccines they were eradicated from the uh, world and people are living uh, peacefully now we are uh, in the process of eradicating the polio by immunizing the children to years old having the polio pulse polio camp every year and uh, we find very very minimum uh, number of uh, polio affected people so we have belief in the god we have belief in the researchers who will uh, achieve their uh, uh, invention by having a proper vaccination which will eradicate this uh, uh, coronavirus whatever it's uh, taking in different variants whether it is london variant or uk variant or us variant or indian variant it should be eradicated and it should have within a short period so when you take the case of uh, this uh, things uh, uh, it uh, in the global level up to yesterday uh, there were this uh, corona virus almost 28 lakhs people lost their life uh, due to this uh, corona virus uh, in the global level and uh, um, uh, more than 10 crores uh, people recovered from the disease this is uh, most affected countries were uh, are brazil still the top most country uh, which is having uh, a daily average of uh, more than 4 lakhs people every day and uh, usa uk france italy russia and india where india is uh, the second largest affected uh, country due to this uh, corona virus if you take the case of india alone 1 uh, uh, crore 20000 20 lakhs uh, uh, and 95000 people were affected till yesterday uh, because we are experiencing the surging uh, nature of this uh, uh, affected people the past 10 days almost uh, more than uh, 60000 people are affected on a daily average in india and uh, still it is increasing um, uh, when comparing the, the last month and the previous months and uh, that uh, people who uh, lost their life is 162000 and odd and uh, more than 1 uh, 1 crore 13 lakh people have been recovered from this uh, disease this is the prevailing situation about this uh, uh, corona but still we are having the uh, spreadness of this disease uh, again uh, we we call it as a second wave and uh, we are uh, accustomed to live with the corona virus few uh, cities have imposed the lockdowns uh, like uh, nagpur uh, pune and uh, mumbai they have imposed uh, lockdowns for two weeks or three weeks Uh, 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 it is not the entire country lockdown but it is uh, up to the state who can uh, decide the lockdowns uh, to important pockets of their uh, states uh, states like kerala maharashtra punjab tamil nadu and gujarat uh, are uh, having the worst affected parts of our country even the capital city of our country delhi is also having uh, lots of uh, Uh, spreadness of this corona uh, virus this is the prevailing situation of uh, the uh, uh, disease uh, and when you take the case of uh, the influencing factors for technological orientation when i uh, take the 
topic of mind for this colloquium technological orientation what are the factors influencing uh, to go for had uh, uh, the listening of the previous session the technological influence in the banking and insurance sector uh, by the uh, up madam uh, it was a nice presentation about the uh, uh, technological uh, impact on uh, banking sectors and the strategies adopted by banking sector or financial institutions but uh, my uh, topic is on general aspect of this uh, technological orientation Uh, to manage the post covid situation or post pandemic situation but we cannot say it is uh, over okay so the influencing factors are spreading nature of the uh, this is which is already uh, acknowledged uh, in this uh, uh, things and prolonged lockdown okay so which made uh, uh, thousands of job uh, jo lots of jobs uh, lost and uh, this uh, Uh, trans transformation of laborers from one state to another state uh, and other uh, types of effects because of the lockdowns the important factor is the social distancing which we have to maintain during and after the uh, 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 corona period so uh, the uh, health uh, who has insisted to have a uh, Uh, social di distancing for by every everyone to make safeguard yourself so that in, uh, that may, uh, that is a great factor or that is a major influencing factor to go for uh, technological orientation and uh, the new variant viruses which are uh, spreading over throughout the world health issues before and after okay so uh, the people who are affected by these viruses and the people who are treating this virus or treating this uh, disease both are having health issues uh, in this case and the economic conditions which we require to uh, make recovery or which we make to make up all these things are the major influencing factors among these factors we have to think about the social distancing and uh, health issues uh, these two factors are uh, the major influencing things to go for technological orientation okay so what kind of uh, industries uh, uh, which are most uh, affected and which are most uh, more, more required to go for technological orientation and uh, the customers who belong to uh, these industries are required to have uh, things first one is the fmcg fast moving consumer goods second one is health and hospitals it is not seven health and hospitals uh, third one is the it industries or software industries educational institutions uh, restaurants banking and insurance sector i hope the uh, uh, previous session has covered uh, fullest uh, area about the banking and insurance uh, sector we don't require much of uh, discussion about the uh, banking and insurance uh, sector about uh, the technological factor Uh, if you take the case of fast moving consumer goods uh, people are accustomed to go and purchase products whether it is grocery or any such kind of uh, items uh, they are spent in the uh, uh, retail shops or uh, departmental stores or shopping malls to buy their products and uh, it may be uh, daily purchase or it may be weekly purchase or monthly purchase but this uh, pandemic situation has uh, made a stoppage to those kind of shopping uh, habits or shopping behavior for the consumers so the industries which are uh, uh, which are uh, supplying the fast moving consumer goods or manufacturing the fasting fast moving consumer goods how to think about the alternative strategy alternative uh, medium of uh, uh, supplying the products so uh, if you take the case of a major uh, 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 the suppliers like uh, uh, dmart or reliance or all those uh, industries they are they are uh, going for the alternative ways uh, during the lockdown period itself and many of the uh, supporting platforms like uh, uh, amazon or uh, this flipkart or mintra or any such kind of uh, online platforms have emerged largely pre uh, even before the 
pandemic period or before the lockdown period we had the experience of amazon or flipkart or such kind of uh, uh, online uh, shopping platforms for fmcg products but because of the lockdown and uh, the other uh, conditions the prevailing conditions uh, made on the uh, consumers or customers these uh, online uh, commerce platforms like uh, amazon or flip flipkart have grown a lot now people are having very much uh, facilitated or very much accommodated to these uh, platforms to order their products and moreover they offer uh, lots of discounts over the product price instead of uh, uh, visiting a, a retail shop or uh, uh, yeah department store people now feel very comfortable uh, by sitting in their home to order products uh, from these online platforms like amazon or flip uh, flipkart or any uh, such kind of things uh, that is the first point about the fast moving consumer goods second one is uh, the technological savvy or technological awareness among the consumers are increasing okay that is the second case now this uh, amazon or flipkart have made their uh, uh, platforms online platforms more user friendly okay so if you have a mobile phone or if you have a smartphone you can easily uh, download the app of amazon or uh, flipkart or any such kind of uh, online commercial platforms and you can easily order your products and you are having different uh, uh, payment strategies or payment options available uh, in this platforms that is the first thing where the uh, fast moving consumer goods are uh, making their uh, technological orientation uh, due to the pandemic situation second one is uh, everything is uh, becoming online okay so we have the growth of online uh, virtual meeting uh, uh, platforms like google or zoom what we are using now or any such kind of things uh, which have which have come in uh, emergence and they are offering different uh, kinds of facilities for uh, this kind of meetings this kind of conferences colloquiums seminars even uh, yeah face to face interaction among the uh, things apart from the uh, 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 media network like instagram or uh, whatsapp or any such kind of things the virtual meeting platforms have emerged like anything and it has become a compulsion uh, for all uh, this kind of things generally uh, the academicians or educational institutions organize this kind of colloquiums in physical uh, manner we invite all the uh, resource persons uh, to this colloquium and ask them to present their uh, uh, research uh, findings or uh, their topics uh, among the audience who uh, gathered in a auditorium or a sem- seminar hall but now we are restricted to uh, join in a uh, virtual meeting platforms like google or zoom and these uh, uh, meeting platforms are making lots of facilities to organize these kind of conferences and the colloquiums and uh, uh, this made us more uh, uh, convenience to sit in our uh, office or uh, homes and we can attend the meeting we can uh, uh, give speeches to the meeting we can uh, provide uh, lots of uh, things in this virtual meeting even the company meetings or the office meetings are carried on through this virtual meeting platforms this is the second uh, area where the technological orientation has uh, happened due to this uh, lockdown and the pandemic situations third one is uh, uh, the online consultancy particularly in the medicinal and uh, uh, diagnosis area okay so according to a uh, latest uh, survey the online consultancy throughout the world has surged up to 500% just imagine 500% if uh, the uh, physical consultancy physical diagnosis was uh, uh, only 10% means now more than 500% of uh, the uh, uh, patients are the, the needy people are going for online medicinal and diagnosis consultancy only the emergency case or life saving cases are visiting the hospitals and taking treatment 
physically and particularly as i said earlier the health and the safety issues are related with this on online consultancy now the physicians or doctors are very reluctant to have face to face contact among patients because of this uh, spreading nature of the uh, corona virus so they also want to have safeguarded themselves though they are having the ppe address or other materials or uh, this uh, uh, sterilizing their uh, uh, hospitals or sanitation whatever uh, things are happening Uh, the spreading nature when they are uh, meeting or when they are uh, having face to face consultation for the uh, customers or patients in the hospitals uh, in a physical manner they uh, also uh, have the possibility of affected by this uh, corona virus uh, uh, we know more than 300 uh, doctors have lost their life by having this uh, uh, treatment of corona virus during the uh, pandemic situation last year so this online consultancy platforms have come up uh, like anything each and every uh, multi specialty hospital or corporate hospitals and even the uh, uh, government hospital so we have a separate app for uh, 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 government uh, public health department and we we, are, we uh, our uh, things or our uh, inconvenience or our discomfort about our health conditions through those apps apps and they are we are paying for the things and we are experiencing lots of uh, uh, consultancy services are going on through this medicinal and diagnosis area of the hospital industry uh, which is growing in a very faster manner the technological orientation is one uh, one side but the growth of that uh, uh, revenue generation uh, through on- online consultancy in the medicinal and diagnosis area is uh, Uh, grown like anything it is more, uh, uh, 500 per- percent growth and uh, it is expected to grow uh, uh, 2000 percentage growth in the year 2025 if the situation is uh, continuous and uh, for a longer period and the next one is uh, our uh, uh, our education institutions so where we are having uh, completely uh, online classes for our students either in the schools or in the uh, colleges or in the higher education institutions everything is made on uh, online classes and we teachers we uh, professors are prepared to orient with the technology online platforms we prepare our materials uh, and the government india government of india has taken a step uh, earlier itself they have opened a swayam platform to prepare uh, e contents for uh, different courses but the regular courses regular degrees and the regular uh, uh, school uh, standards were not brought under swayam portal but they have offered different specialized courses through swayam portal where they, they develop uh, video uh, clippings and uh, e content uh, uh, things and they, uh, they they invited students and the teachers uh, even our refreshers uh, refresher courses and on uh, orientation programs have been conducted to the swayam portals uh, through online mode but apart from that uh, ugc swayam portal we are uh, accustomed we are uh, we are uh, compelled to go for online uh, classes uh, and we are uh, required to prepare whether it is clear or not whether the students are having smart smartphones or not whether the students are having proper network coverage or not they are required to join online classes and we teachers have to take online classes same way uh, the online examinations are also been conducted and results are published uh, based on their performance in the online examinations so this is the next area of uh, technological orientation where the uh, educational institutions teachers and Uh, students have gone for the technological orientations in the uh, post pandemic situation and still it is continuing shorter period we opened our uh, colleges or educational institutions schools and colleges but because of the second wave of uh, again we have closed our uh, institutions and we have switched over to online platforms to teach our lessons and go for examinations and next important area uh, that is relevant to it industries software industries 
they have gone for work from home when the lockdown period was announced the first industry which has gone for online mode and the technology uh, usage was the it industry and the software industry uh, thanks to the development of uh, network coverage and uh, different uh, 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 this, uh, uh, coverages of data, data packages by different uh, it sorry uh, this uh, uh, cell phone companies like jio or uh, airtel or any such kind of companies which are providing the uh, fiber networks exclusively for this on- online things so we have to note this point the growth of uh, uh, fiber connectivity the growth of data connectivity the growth of uh, online connectivity by different uh, things so the uh, if you take uh, statistics about the growth of uh, business uh, made at jio or airtel or any such kind of uh, vodafone or such kind of companies Uh, they experience a very very good growth they experience a two fold or three fold growth in their business in their revenue because of this pandemic and lockdown but it is not uh, important as far as our thing is concerned the work from home culture has been developed and all it companies have uh, asked their employees to work from home till june 2021 and they are been given projects they are been been given uh, different works allotments and they are joining uh, teams in, in the virtual platform itself and they are completing their uh, projects or uh, uh, the developments and they are submitting their uh, things many of the things are uh, based on the uh, business process outsourcing and uh, other technological orientation services the software development or it development is for supporting this uh, technological development happening in other industries so this work from home culture has uh, definitely made them technological orientation and all it industries and software companies are very much benefited and these employees are uh, having their uh, work at their home they are working at hours and they are uh, supplying their products supplying their uh, uh, works from their home itself and next one is the uh, restaurants and hotel industries which we uh, discussed like Uh, the growth of uh, food supplies through uh, different uh, online platforms so that is uh, the case of uh, the food supplies uh, which is uh, having in a growth of uh, 15 to 20% in the last year itself actually when this food supplies uh, delivery through online was started in the year 2004 by uh, this uh, pizza company but it uh, acknowledged very much by other uh, type of food supplies uh, which are which were connected uh, to all uh, restaurants and hotel uh, by the companies like swiggy zomato Dom- or uh, uh, footloon or olx or ola this kind of uh, food supplies companies have made it easier to order food ready to supply food from different restaurants and this industry is expected to grow 30% that is now the uh, revenue uh, generated from this industry is 4.35 uh, billion dollars but it is expected to grow 10 billion dollar industry in the near future within 2 years and uh, this uh, this is uh, growing very much faster due to this uh, pandemic situation this kind of uh, food supply industries are, have developed their apps and people are very much accustomed people are very much uh, uh, aware of using those uh, apps in their mobile phones from their uh, uh, computers that makes this food supply industry to grow very much faster and uh, i think this banking and insurance uh, payment system have been discussed in the last uh, session itself uh, the last one ott platforms okay, uh, for cinemas and web series so our cinema halls have been closed for longer period cine industry has been affected uh, for a longer period uh, this uh, this has been replaced by the technology development made on ott platforms which are uh, uh, made uh, available through amazon or z uh, platform extreme atel extreme or hotstar this kind of uh, ott platforms have, have made it uh, uh, very much convenient by the uh, for the people during the lockdown period or post pandemic period even for the second wave period 
uh, to enjoy or to go for entertainment through ott platforms in the form of uh, movies or uh, serials or series whatever the things so the this industry is again another technological uh, orientation required for the people so people have connected their mobile phones uh, or their uh, computers or their televisions to go for ott platforms uh, where they are uh, having very flexible packages in the data packages so uh, dear participants we have uh, different uh, uh, factors which influenced uh, to go for uh, technological orientation uh, many industries have been affected by this uh, lockdown or uh, this kind of uh, pandemic situations but i have taken the few industries which have used the technology very much uh, Uh, to manage this uh, pandemic situation or post pandemic situation among those uh, industries we have discussed about the fmcg uh, hospital and hotel uh, industry uh, entertainment industry and the uh, uh, educational institutions i hope uh, this situation will prolong for uh, some more period and we are not exempted to use this technological products and we have to definitely to go for the technological orientation in that way we will manage uh, the situation uh, by having the social distancing or any such kind of uh, requirements uh, to save god ourselves to keep ourselves in home or keep to save god our family members to save god other people to save god the society so uh, i hope uh, my presentation will be useful uh, to uh, go for technological orientation Uh, thank you very much for uh, providing the opportunity thank you dr sasi kumar uh, thank you sir thank you sir thank you for your uh, excellent presentation sir sure uh, the audience would be get benefited out of your uh, presentation sir thank you sir thank you and thank you sasi uh, thank you thank you sir thank you sir and uh, there is an instruction for the participants and uh, we can have the technical session Let's start the presentation. So the technical session for the four minutes over today, and uh, after the two o'clock we may have the paper presentation, and I have posted in the colloquium group. Okay, so please uh, refer that. Okay, thank you. And uh, at the outset, I would like to thank uh, uh, the resource person. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Invite uh, Dr. Kepriya, HOD of Commerce, to give the word of thanks. We welcome you, ma'am. A warm good afternoon to all present here. It is my humble honor, more than a pleasure of mine. I would like to thank all the participants for the patient listening. Thank you, one and all. Uh, we will continue the paper presentation that is that is technical session two at two o'clock. We request the students to assemble at two o'clock in the same uh, same Zoom ID. Thank you, students. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. okay so thank you participants uh, and uh, you can you are requested to join the google meet by afternoon and uh, the tomorrow again we have the technical session in the forenoon session and uh, the technical session in the afternoon session followed by the valedictory address okay uh, so i have shared already in the colloquium whatsapp group okay and thank you and uh, we will join by 2 o'clock thank you through google meet and uh, the participants are requested to have a make a screenshot uh, as evidence of uh, participation in the forenoon session today and uh, tomorrow forenoon session we have another session and in the afternoon we may have another session and after valedictory we will share you the feedback link and uh, you need to attach that uh, friends as a screenshot of participation in the program thank you thank you everyone
and behalf of our vikas college we thank everyone for joining this session thank you